When I start weaving, like I first did the first couple lines on here, and I didn't know what um, design I was gonna put on there. And then when I go to sleep at night, I dream about it. So I didn't know. I said, I'm gonna do go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I chose four because that is the four directions and the four seasons and the four, four main colors. And in my dream, I called this the Tleil Hamat blanket, which is named after my mother, my late mother. And here is black. And black is a color of my mom's hair. She always had black hair. And her traditional name is uh, the wild rose. And red is the color of roses. So that's why I incorporated that. And this white here is purity. My mom was the most purest, honest person ever. And that's why, and that's how it came to me. It came to me in a dream. When I first started weaving, I went up to my late grandmother, Carrie Jo, and I said, Gran, I said, I just started weaving wool. And then she goes, she goes, I'm so happy that you're doing that because our family were the great weavers. She goes, I remember looking at my grandmother weave, so that would have been my great grandmother, and she remembers watching her grandmother do that. So it's in my blood, and I did not know. And now, every time I weave now, I dream about it, I think about it, I put my life into it, and it's just in my blood. You could weave a tunic, which is kind of like a poncho, you put it over your head. Tunic. This one's going to be a shawl and that is for a woman to wrap around their shoulders and button up in the front. You can weave a little more narrow one, and that would be for a man, and that's from left shoulder down here, and it's called a sash, and it buttons up on the side. You can weave headbands that go around your head. You can weave aprons that match your, your shawl, and you can make leggings. That's what the men wear on theirs. And you can also incorporate weaving into cedar as well. This one's called the herringbone design. The herringbone design. And then what I'm teaching today is the diamonds and triangles. And the, you, you can also do like patterns like what's on my shirt. You can do all of those. Once the ladies learn how to do these diamonds and triangles, they can weave any design that they want after that. I've made a, a bunch of baby tunics and about three shawls, and I have never done the triangle diamond yet, and I want to incorporate that in my work. The last shawl I just made about a month ago, and I really wish I could put my diamonds into it. After seeing my daughter's tunic, I really liked the idea of it. I never thought I would ever be able to do it, ever. I'm not a seamstress. My mom very much is, that's why I say that. But I seem to know it. It seemed to just come to me. They're absolutely great students. It is in their blood, you know, like they are, they, they feel it. Weaving has just been brought back probably about 15 years ago to our community. So it went away because I would say the church, the churches came in and they didn't like to see us doing this. They wanted us to convert into the religion, their religion. And this actually, this is, would be a regalia of ours. And they didn't believe our religion was a true religion. I like the red and black for regalia. Uh, I attend quite a bit of the spirit dancing up at the Longhouse. I'm not a spirit dancer myself, but I really enjoy going up there. And those are the main colors in brown. And then there's earth natural colors I like. To weave is called flinash. Weaving is flinflinash. And this is called kwastan, which is wool in our language. And this right here is a kwastantin. That means it's a wool holder. And this right here is a flinashtin. That means it's a weaving holder. When you have tin on the end, it means it's actual tool to for something. So if we have words for that, it means that we had it thousands of years ago, right? The, that this art went to sleep for a while and we're just waking it up again. Uh, Carmen said she, she was dreaming about hers. And I didn't tell her about that I dream about mine. So she was dreaming about hers. And as soon as she came in here, she, she, she started weaving and weaving. She goes, I think that's what was in my dream. This design was in my dream, oddly enough. Um, and also, I'm very connected to the ocean, so I'm thinking that's why the colors came to me. I grew up 
on the water here. So my spirit's connected to the ocean, so I think that's what it has a lot to do with. I just started working in the museum, and I will be doing a wool weaving exhibit in there. So I'm going to ask all band members that I have a weaved item to contact me and let me know what they would like to be displayed in there. It's absolutely in our blood, and I believe that we have awakened it.